What's up guys? Welcome back to Honest Cooks. Today we're making crab rangoon. Let's get started. Let's have a look at the ingredients. Along with the crab, obviously, we will also use some green onions or scallions. And also one clove of finely minced garlic. The crab rangoon that we get in the restaurants are usually very heavy on the cream cheese and quite light on the crab. But I prefer equal quantities of crab and cream cheese. So that's what I'm going to use today. I feel the 1 is to 1 ratio really gives a balanced taste to the mixture. Using a rubber spatula, we'll whip the cream cheese a little bit to loosen it. And then we will start adding our ingredients to it. I'm using canned crab which I rinsed in cold water along with the green onions and the garlic that we chopped, some fish sauce and soy sauce. If you don't have fish sauce, you can skip that. And give everything a good mix but try not to break the lumps of crab. And when you're ready, Set this in the fridge for 30 to 35 minutes. While that is chilling in the fridge, let's make the dipping sauce. For that, we will take some sriracha, sweet and sour sauce, some rice wine vinegar or regular vinegar and brown sugar in a bowl and mix everything until the brown sugar dissolves. And it's time to start wrapping. Once you take out your wrappers from the packet, make sure you cover them with a damp paper towel. And we will also need a bowl of water. For folding style number one, take one of your wrapping sheets and brush it with some water. Then place one spoonful of your crab mixture right in the center. And then bring two opposite ends. Don't stick them yet, just bring them close together. While you hold these, bring the other two opposite ends together as well, but don't stick them either. The key is to somehow stick all four of them together at the same time to each other. And then you want to pinch all the corners together and squeeze out all the air. That is folding style number one. Let's call it the pyramids. Folding style number two. Take one of your sheets and brush it with water again. And then place one spoonful of your mixture right in the center. Then bring in any two of the opposite ends and you can stick them together this time. You will end up with a triangle. Once you have the triangle, brush some water on the base of your triangle. Now bring in the two ends and stick them together. This one is my favorite because it's so easy. And it looks a lot like flying saucers, doesn't it? For a quick recap, folding style number one, bring your four corners in the center and stick them all together at the same time. Folding style number two, stick the opposite ends to make a triangle, brush water on the bottom and stick the two ends together to make a flying saucer. Which style do you like more, the pyramids or the flying saucers? Comment below to let us know. And when you're done folding, it's time to fry these. Bring your oil up to temperature. Anywhere between 350 and 360 is good. And then drop a few of these in the oil. Cook them until they're a lovely golden brown. And then take them out. If your oil gets too hot, they will start to form bubbles on the surface. So make sure that your oil is evenly heated and is on medium heat at all times. And now that I'm done frying, it's time to plate these. There you go, crab rangoon with a delicious dipping sauce. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Honest Cooks. I will see you next week with another delicious recipe. Until then, have a lovely day.